the valet took a handkerchief and carefully wiped Lady's body, from her ankles to her calves, to her shoulders, his eyes always look innocent. Then Lady walks out of the room with his hand on hers. The valet dabbed some red on the lip pencil and carefully painted Lady's lips. And Lady's eyes were always closed and she was quiet. She was Shunkin, the second daughter of the pharmacy, who had been blinded by an eye disease as a child. Since then, she has become more and more eccentric, and the only one who can tolerate her is Sasuka. Sasuka started working at the pharmacy as a valet at the age of 13. At first, he helped in the pharmacy, but when Shumkin called out, he had to go over and trim her nails and fix her face. His father came to see Sasuka from the countryside, but he didn't care. He just kept his head down and trimmed her nails. After trimming her toenails, Sasuka set up her shoes and waited for Shunkin to put them on, then held her up and walked her to Shamisen practice. The pharmacy owner was embarrassed and asked Sasuka to go see his father first, but Shunkin refused. Sasuka also said that Lady wanted him to practice Shamisen with her. They walked through the streets to the teacher's house. Although Shunkin is blind, her talent in Shamisen is unmatched. While she was playing Shamisen, Sasuka Saturday on the side, closed his eyes and played silently to the rhythm. At night, when everyone was asleep, he took out a shamisen and played it beautifully, thinking of the rhythm Shunkin played when she was practicing. Sasuka kept practicing every day like this. In order not to disturb others, he Saturday outside the house in winter when it was snowing and played shamisen. The sound of shamisen spreads far and wide. The boss heard him and came out with a loud shout. <coughs> Sasuka was so frightened that he broke the shamisen when he stood up. The shamisen which Sasuka had saved his monthly money to buy, was broken in this way? The boss told Sasuka to keep to his duty. Sasuka knelt down in front of him and obeyed him. After the boss left, he cleaned up the shamisen with pain. At that moment, Shunkin asked him to come in. She also heard the shamisen and asked Sasuka to play it again. Sasuka was scared. He felt that he was not playing well and was afraid of embarrassing the lady. But Shunkin forced him to play. Sasuka had no choice but to borrow Shunkin's shamisen. She asked him not to play the easy pieces but the hard ones. And so it played all night. The next morning, the drugstore lady asked him to go to work. Shunkin refused to let him go and said that she would teach Sasuka to play shamisen herself. The boss and the lady decided to let Sasuka concentrate on accompanying Shunkin and no longer need to help in the pharmacy. So, Sasuka became Shunkin's student. He accompanied Shunkin to class every day. At night, he asked Shunkin for advice on playing shamisen. This teacher was horrible. The student just played one wrong note. <laughs> the wound on his hand was overwhelming with blood. And at this moment, it's almost dawn. If the student couldn't play this piece well, he wouldn't be able to sleep. The boss's wife couldn't stand it and said it was more tiring than working in a pharmacy. But Sasuka had no complaints. Shunkin was a tough teacher, but Sasuka asked her to be tougher. If he made a mistake, he would ask Lady to hit him as hard as she could and drop the shamisen as hard as she could. Sometimes Sasuka would close his eyes and practice shamisen. He wanted to feel Shunkin's feelings, but he didn't realize that Shunkin had been waiting for him for a long time with his hand outstretched. Now Shunkin found out about Sasuka's closed eyes. She was furious and thought that Sasuka was humiliating her. So she ordered Sasuka to get out and stop looking for her. Sasuka panicked and kept explaining that he had my Shunkin and wants to serve her for the rest of his life and doesn't want to leave her. But Shunkin did not react. Sasuka was thrown out by a lady and became a joke. But before long, the ground shook and an earthquake came. All the servants rushed out. Only Sasuka rushed back to Shunkin's room in great panic. The whole house was shaking. Sasuka came tumbling in and found Shunkin, who was in a daze. By now, they were delayed to run out. Sasuka helped Shunkin to hide in the corner. Shortly after, the earthquake stopped. Sasuka was worried that Shunkin was still angry and wanted to leave. Shunkin pulled him back. <laughs> The two of them were living in a delicate relationship that seemed to be nothing special to others. Sasuka's skill in playing shamisen improved greatly. He was even praised by Shunkin's teacher. Sasuka was so happy that he went back to Shunkin to tell him the good news. But he got the bad news. Shunkin was sent to the countryside because she was pregnant. The boss asked him if the father of Shunkin's baby is his. 
Sasuka denied it and said it was just a valid. The boss said that it would ruin Shunkin's reputation. The boss looked at him and let out a long sigh. Similarly, when Shunkin was asked by her mother in the countryside, she only said that she and the men had agreed to keep it a secret. Her parents actually thought Sasuka was nice. If the father of Shunkin's child was really him, then they would have taken Sasuka as their adopted son. But they both denied it. Shunkin even said that her parents despised her. They wanted to marry her to a servant because she was blind. She also knows that her parents care about her. But if she doesn't, she'll be dependent on her parents for the rest of her life. The mother hid her face and wept. The child Shunkin gave birth to was eventually sent to Sasuka's hometown by her boss without being told who the father was. Shortly after that, Shunkin's father and teacher both passed away. Shunkin opened a class with his permission, and Sasuka moved out with her to become an assistant teacher. Still serving Shunkin, he gave Shunkin a bath, robbed her body, and was always with her. But what was strange to the other valets was that Sasuka never slept in the same room with Shunkin. Both Sasuka and Shunkin thought that Shunkin was still superior, and Sasuka was still a valet. The man kneels by the well in a single garment, with each bucket of water he poured into his body. He folded his hands and prayed to God. He was praying for his beloved, his lover, who was blind and had lost her beauty. Not long ago, Shunkin and Sasuka went back home. Sasuka's father sent a letter, asking Sasuka to return to the countryside to inherit the family business. Sasuka didn't say anything. After the messenger left, Shunkin asked Sasuka if he wanted to go back. Sasuka refuses. Shunkin still won't let him go and says he's just embarrassed to mention it. Now, for the first time, Sasuka was angry with Shunkin. Shunkin bowed her head, a little shy and a little guilty. When Sasuka saw that, he lightened his tone and went to Shunkin and took her hand. He said it was over and it was time to go home. When they arrived home, they realized they had an unexpected guest. Ichizo, a rich boy, had long admired Shunkin. He even took Shamisen lessons for Shunkin, but he was kicked out by his teacher for his bad attitude. This time Ichizo came to visit him because he wanted Shunkin to attend the party and play Shamisen for him. At first, Shunkin didn't want to go, but then a parent of a student came and asked for trouble. Because Shunkin was to strict in teaching, she broke the student's head. Ichizo revealed his wealthy status and gave the parent some money to get rid of him. To thank Ichizo, Shunkin went to the banquet. She played a very beautiful song in front of the audience. But no one on stage could understand her. The only one who could understand her was Sasuka. At that party, Ichizo set up a plan to separate Shunkin and Sasuka. He tried to attack Shunkin. Shunkin fights to get away, lifts something next to him and throws it at him. Sasuka in the lobby seemed to feel something and rushed back to the box and brought the frightened Shunkin out. After the incident, Ichizo held a grudge. Shunkin and Sasuka continued to teach Shami Sin as usual. Shunkin Saturday in the room. Sasuka Saturday outside with his eyes tightly closed. The female students laughed when they saw him like that. They all came to learn Shami Sin just to see Sasuka. Shunkin found out about this too. She stopped the class and sent the girls away. When Sasuka entered, she was jealous. Sasuka was a bit confused, but firm. He said he would never teach the girls again, or even look at them. He would always love only Shunkin and never saw another woman. Shunkin's heart shuddered at his frank confession. She said she was cold and asked Sasuka to sit next to her. Sasuka rubbed Shunkin's hand carefully. He put her hand into his chest again. She said her feet were cold, so Sasuka took off her socks. Then he got up and looked around and closed the door and windows. At night, Sasuka went back to sleep in his room. Without anyone noticing, a man in black sneaked into the house. He went straight to Shunkin's room and poured a pot of boiling water over her. <coughs> Sasuka woke up with a scream. By the time he got to the room, the man in black had already escaped. Shunkin was face down and didn't want to see him. Shunkin had lost her sight and then her beauty. The only thing she didn't want Sasuka to see was her face. Sasuka knew how much Shunkin cared about this. So every night, he went to the temple and poured water on her body and prayed to the Lord with his hands together. Soon Shunkin's face was ready for the ghost to be removed. She stressed to Sasuka over and over again and didn't want him to see her face. She even cried on the table in pain. Sasuka was in great pain watching his lover cry like that. When the doctor came, he came out of the house and saw a needle and had an idea. After sending all the valets away, Sasuka went back into the room and looked at Shunkin. 
Then his Saturday down in front of the mirror and looked at his face in the mirror and held up the needle. Then blood flowed from his face, which had been cut by the needle. It hurts. It hurts so much. Sasuka's vision was getting blurred. He rolled and crawled out of the house and fumbled around in the yard. Shunkin, sensing something was wrong, also groped his way out, but fell. Sasuka faltered and hugged Shunkin. He said he was blind too, so he told Shunkin not to worry about him seeing her face. Shunkin felt her heart ache for a moment. She hugged Sasuka with compassion. Sasuka said that the pain he was going through was nothing compared to what Shunkin was going through. In this moment, they were truly together. There was no more gap between them, and they lived together forever. This is the end of the story. A portrait of Shunkin was released in 1976. Shunkin was a lady, brutal and inferior, and Sasuka always tolerates her tenderly. The love between them is a little weird but still touching, don't you think?